Hey love, so today we're gonna do a video on the new Photofocus products from Wet n Wild. I have the Photofocus foundation in porcelain. I have the Photofocus pressed powder in warm light. And then I have the Photofocus concealer and mine is in light ivory. So I believe these are all the lightest shades. I ordered them from the Wet n Wild website. I haven't seen them in my Walgreens yet, so I'm glad that I did order online. But yeah, so we're just gonna try these products out and I'm gonna let you know kind of a first impression on them. Uh, so let's get started. So I've already primed my face. I just used the Nivea Post Shave Balm um, for my whole face. And then I just used the Cover FX Mattifying Primer on my nose and my chin area. So just the same thing that I pretty much do every day. Anyway, so we are going to try the foundation first, of course. Um, I have a beauty sponge. This looks, I seriously just like wash this, wash this, and it's totally stained. I need to get a new one. But this is the Makeup Revolution Pro Blend Sponge. It's my favorite. I've been using just this lately. Normally I'm like 100% brush girl, but I don't know. It's just been easy to just clean this every day when I get it damp and use it. And then I got these new brushes. These are a few of them. They're super cute. They're from Amazon. Um, I'll try and leave a link down below. I posted these on Instagram and Facebook and stuff, and you guys were super excited. Um, a couple of them are still damp, even though I washed them like 12 hours ago, but that's okay. So we're going to use whichever ones we can. Um, so I think I'm going to do the whole like half my face with a brush, half my face with the beauty sponge, and then see how it goes. I don't know how this is going to be for foundation, but I'm going I'm to give it a go. So we're going to see. I've heard pretty good reviews so far on this, so I am excited to finally put it on my face and try it for myself. It's just got a screw cap and it's got like a little spatula thing. I'm just going to put the foundation on the back of my hand. That's what I normally do and go from there. I think this shade will work. I think we'll be okay. I'm just going to kind of dot it all over. This one does have a strong paint smell. This is cute. I should just go out like this every day. Okay, I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna start with the sponge. I think I'm gonna do this side with the sponge and see how it goes. Oh, that scent though. I mean, it's it's super strong. So yeah, the shade definitely works right now. So that's exciting. I wanna give this little guy a go just to see how it is. They don't have numbers on them or names or anything. They were super cheap. They were under 20 bucks for like, I think 12 brushes. I feel like the coverage is a little better with this brush. It's very, it's synthetic, so it's gonna allow you to have more product, but I like the finish more with the sponge. So I'm just going to tap my sponge over the side just cause I have little lines all over my face, so. I think I'm gonna add just a little more just to kind of see how it builds too. If it just didn't have the scent, I'd really be liking it so far. I mean, I really do like it, but. I don't like it as much with the second layer. I feel like it kind of, it dried really well the first time. So I feel like it kind of not, I feel like you can see more pores maybe. It just looks a little more cakey when I put two layers on. I normally don't layer foundation. So it's not really gonna be a problem for me, but I just kind of wanted to see how it did layer. So I personally don't really like it like that. I feel like if you maybe use like a flat top kabuki, um, you might get the best coverage. I don't think that this was the best choice for me to try, but I did want to try one of these brushes at least because you guys were curious about these because they're so cute. I figured when I ordered them, at least they're cute. So that's cool. All right, so we're going to move on. We're going to try this concealer. I think that this concealer is definitely going to be too dark for me, but we're going to give it a go anyway. I might have to mix it with a white concealer. So so again, this is the Photo Focus Concealer in light ivory. It's definitely, again, definitely darker then I prefer actually no here I will I will do this and then I'll put a white powder on top that way I'm not mixing the product and I can kind of give you my true impression on just this alone I'm just gonna use the blender it might just be my skin today it blends out really well I feel like I just have a lot of texture on my face and that might just be my face or it might be this foundation emphasizing it I'll definitely put some notes in the description box I'm gonna wear it throughout the day and let you guys know down there what I think I'm gonna give it a go and see if I can layer this up too. At least I get like really dark right here. Even though I, I feel like I'm talking about a lot of cons right now, I really, for Wet n Wild, this is definitely so far the best foundation that I've tried of theirs. And concealer is not bad either at all. Kudos to them for coming out with so many shades in that shade range. Apparently there's 20 shades of this foundation, which that's crazy, crazy. Way to go Wet n Wild. I am going to set my under eyes with a white powder just because I am super fair and I feel like it's not as bright under there as I like. I like a highlighted under eye, not like super highlighted, but I feel like I look more awake, obviously, when I do that. So let's see. I'm just going to use my Sigma F86 for my under eyes. I will set the rest of my face with the pressed powder too. 
I'm just gonna do the high points on my face just so the highlighting is even throughout. I'm gonna look real crazy for a minute. Now I'm gonna try the Photo Focus Pressed Powder. Again, this is a warm light. I believe it's the lightest one. I wish that they had a wider shade range in this, but it doesn't look very pigmented. Um, so I guess we'll see. I'm just gonna use another one of those brushes. How cute is this? It's cute, so one of them all. Let's see how this works. I don't often set my whole face. Oh, you can see that it's a little yellow. I like this brush though. All right, love, so this is what it looks like so far. I'll bring you in a little bit just so you can see. We are up close and personal now. You can see everything on my face. Um, I do feel like it's oxidized a tiny bit so far already. Again, this is what it looks like so far. I am gonna go put the rest of my makeup on. I'm gonna film a separate tutorial on my eyes and then I'm gonna come back and let you know some final thoughts. All right, love, so we are back with all of the makeup on. I do feel like it got a little bit darker. I'm not sure. Uh, the texture of my skin is a little off, so I don't know. It's hard to say if that's the foundation or not. I do like there's slightly more texture looking to my skin. You know what I mean. Um, with this foundation, then there has been, I've been using the Josie Marin Argon Oil, like vibrancy foundation. So I think that that makes a difference because there's argon oil in there and it probably hydrates my skin a little more, but not bad at all. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised and not like in a bad way. Not that I didn't think that Wet n Wild could make a great foundation. I just think for such an affordable, like super, this was six bucks for $6 foundation. Really nice. The powder was really nice. Again, it's a little dark for me, but I mean, it worked. It worked. It's on my face and I don't, I can't, I mean, in the viewfinder, it looks like it matches. I don't know. In the mirror, it looks like it matches. It just is a little darker than I normally have my face. A couple shades maybe. Um, but it worked. I blended it down so it should be okay. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below if you tried this foundation. And of course, I will leave a little, some info down below on how it wore throughout the day. Yeah, if you want to see this eye look, I will try and link it down below. I try and always link my tutorials that I am wearing in my videos down below so you guys can check them out. Yeah. All right, loves, I think that's everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Nivea Posh. <laughs> my cat scratched my face last night. I don't know if you can see that. By the way, I broke a nail. So if you can see this, I love that it's like my flip off finger. <sighs> Don't mind that. <laughs> Every time I put my hair back, I'm like, so cute. <laughs> now I'm gonna try the photo focus. How many times have I said photo focus? <laughs> that took me a while to do my makeup. So it's already, it's been like an hour already.